You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hey folks, I'm Mike, this is Ink Dependence, and uh, last time I did one of these videos was like Prime Days or whatever, and they've started doing another thing, which is Prime Big Deal Days, I suppose. And that video seemed like it was very helpful to a lot of people in finding some cool stuff and some things that like, you know, I like or have used. And so uh, I went through uh, <laughs> a bunch of deals and a bunch of things that were like saved in my cart and some of the stuff that I've ordered over the last few months just to like, you know, show you and uh, show you some stuff that you can get good deals on. There will be links to these down in the description. And those are affiliate links for me. So if you order stuff through those links, I think anything you order through those links, actually, I'll get uh, like, you know, a little, a little, pennies from that so um you know please feel free to do that um if not that's also that's also cool but it does help the channel and me if you do that so you know there you go let's get rolling okay so first off um these are the little strips that i use for chromatography when i do chromatography on my channel you can see right here i did a whole bunch of this on twitch today uh, these are really nice little chromatography strips and, uh, yeah, 13 bucks is not bad for a hundred of them. It seems like it might be a little bit expensive, but, um, you can cut them in half or maybe even thirds really and, uh, use a whole bunch more of them. So yeah, pretty darn good. A little bit more consistent than my coffee filters that I usually use, but, um, same kind of thing. There you go. hundred chromatography paper strips. Pretty good. As you can see, I have ordered those for sure. Next up, actually, Audrey sent me this one, and she's like, you know, people want to see some stuff that I like, too. So this is from um, Laneige. I actually don't know how to say that one. I'm going to go with Laneige. It's a lip sleeping mask, which Audrey uses. She likes to rotate through a few of these lip sleeping masks. This keeps your lips all nice and hydrated overnight and all that jazz. She digs this one and thinks you might, too. Uh, all right. This one, she actually had me put this in the cart for, I believe. This is Skin 1004 Hallyu Sika Water Fit Sun Serum. She's like, uh, I need some of this and, uh, you should, you should put some in your cart for me and also tell people about it because everybody should be wearing sunscreen. Uh, we are getting into, uh, winter, of course, but that doesn't mean the sun has gone away. Protect yourself from sun damage. Get some sunscreen. I don't wear it as much as I should. I should wear it more than I do. I'm just bad about it, but she's very good at it. So, you know, do that. Uh, next up, um, so these, uh, look, this is a little bit weird, maybe, but uh, Audrey and I, whoa, they took the deal off on this. Yo. All right, so the deal has gone away on this one, unfortunately. Uh, but do put this on your list. Um, I didn't pay anywhere near this um, when I bought it, and it was actually less than this when I was making these, uh, when I was going through these. So that's kind of disappointing. But um, these are the best weights that we have found. Um, Audrey has been lifting weights and stuff for the last... I don't know, while, a couple of years at least. Uh, and I've recently started trying to get in on that as well to get jacked. Uh, it's it's It hurts a lot of times and it's painful. But like, you know, as you get older, you need to like do some weightlifting to like build bone density and keep yourself from getting osteoporosis and any uh, all bunch of other things. And so it's like really useful. And these are the best of these selectable weights that I have found. Uh, we had another set that were like 25 pounds a piece from another like, you know, this is one of these random brands and they work pretty well. But these little selectable ones are super good. So uh, the way they work is you take this little peg and you sort of pull it out to where you want it to go. And these will go from any Anywhere from like, uh, I want to say five pounds up to uh, 55 pounds in two and a half pound increments, which is pretty great. So um, check out these Nordic track ones. Uh, not a sponsor. I paid m not this much. I maybe it was actually less than half of this when I bought them. So keep an eye on these. They do come up for sale uh, uh, fairly regularly, it seems. But uh, well, actually, I take that back. I've only seen them on sale a couple of times. I don't know. Keep an eye on them. They're pretty good. If you want to lift weights and you won't think you might want to get heavy at some point, it's the way to go. Uh, next up, this is the thing that I have bought obviously twice, um, but uh, that's over the course of a long time. So last time I bought them was last year, uh, but uh, this was this is on sale again. 41% off of this is really great. This is a green laser laser pointer. Uh, it is extremely bright. It is very useful. It's got a little timer on there. It's got forward and back. If you're a person that does like classroom teaching or if you're using PowerPoint or something like that in any capacity, uh, this is a great thing to have. It is only regular USB. You do have to get like a little dongle type thing if you want to uh, make it USB-C. Uh, but I've got some of those as well. They just turn a USB into a USB-C, which is a little one. Uh, and it works perfectly well. But this is a great uh, laser pointer. The batteries last a really long time. Uh, you can blank out the screen with like this button down here. 
actually I'll show you what it does. Blank screen, start presentations. You can get like gives yourself time management. So it'll, like give you buzzes if you set a time limit for like how long you want to speak. It's just super useful and it's the best pointer I found. So full price, 80 bucks is a lot, but you can fairly regularly find it in the 40 to $50 range. And that I think is totally fair for this, uh, this little machinery here. Uh, next up. Uh, hey, this is uh, this is the cap that I'm wearing. Sometimes people ask about this hat that I wear with like the weird little rings. Uh, <laughs> it's because we saw like some of our favorite K-pop stars wearing them. I'm like, that's actually a really interesting hat. I uh, I want to try. I want to try having one of those. It looks like fun. And uh, she's got these three little rings through here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, 12 bucks. Grab yourself one if you want. Uh, next up, this is a thing that I use a whole lot. Uh, I got this last time in June. I have this gray one. I also have a black one, but the gray one is the one I like the best. Um, just because it gives me a really nice sort of neutral background for some of the videos I do. It's also great just as a cutting mat. Uh, it's also great if you're doing uh, ink stuff on your desk so that your desk doesn't look as much like mine uh, if you spill a whole bunch of ink. So that's a really useful thing. And for 12 bucks, it's a really good deal. I probably paid full price for that one. But they can also come in a bunch of different colors and maybe I'll have to get some different colors just for different things. That, bl that blue looks really good, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, add to cart. Uh, look. It's uh, something you have to do sometimes. Just add it to the cart. Uh, all right. Next up, we have uh, these are post-its. I have two or three different things of post-its on here, but the uh, the little tabs that you can't see up there, there are a lot of them. So this is something I have not used yet. So full disclosure, I ain't used this, but it looks really cool. These are transparent post-it notes. Weird, right? Uh, stick securely and remove cleanly. I like this idea. It says down below that they made this for use in things like journals and uh, planners and that kind of stuff where the paper might be a little fragile. And so like this should remove cleanly. That's a lay pen right there. I, uh, I've been using one of those a lot recently, this little, this little pen. So yeah, I'm interested in these. Uh, they're not for fountain pens. I They don't say fountain pen on here. And I think there's a reason. Um, they say colored pencil, pencil, ballpoint pen, or marker. And that makes sense to me. Uh, they were using Le Pen on this one, though. So that means like porous point would probably be okay, too. I think this is interesting. I use a whole lot of post-it notes in my just sort of like reading and teaching life. And if I could see through the post-it note, that would sometimes be really good. So this is another thing that's going to be in my cart. Uh, in fact, um, all right, in my cart now. All right, uh, next up. Uh, this is something I just got in the mail, actually. Uh, where is it? Ah, right here next to me. Bam, right here. You sorry by Nakabayashi. This is really good. It has a nice, nice clean grid in here. I have the blank page one as well right here. Uh, and I was using this and I liked it so well. I was like, I should try to get some more of these. This price is wild. $5.87 is so low. Now that does come straight from Japan, I believe. And it did take a while to get to me. And the box was at, I don't around because I had the box. It was absolutely mutilated in the mail, but probably won't happen to you, probably. But for $5.87 free delivery, sure, that window is wild, but like, you know, you don't need a notebook right now. You need a notebook eventually. And this is a very good notebook for fountain pens. Uh, it is kind of outstanding. So yeah, $5.87, wild. Like quantity, all of them and just go nuts because those are amazing. All right, next up, this is a thing I actually, October 6th, yeah, I just got this. Uh, I got this and it is actually on my wall or on my desk right now. I had this in my cart for quite a while, but at like 60 bucks, I was like, I don't know. But for $40, I was like, yes, okay, fine. So this has a 95 CRI, uh, or is it, uh, does it actually say on here? CRI, yeah, CRI 95, which means this has really good color representation, which is what I demand for my videos and for all that kind of stuff. Also, it clamps onto the desk very nicely there, as you can see, and these hinges are very sturdy. This is not a lamp that's gonna be wobbling all around and doing a bunch of weird stuff. This is a very sturdy uh, bunch of hinges. And then it has two light sources. So there's one here and one here. And a cool thing about them is that they both spin. Right, so both of those light bits you can turn in whatever direction you want, like 200 and what does it say, 270 degrees or something. Not all the way around, but pretty darn close. Uh, yeah, 270 right here. Um, and so the way I have it set up is I have it set up so the main one is out over my desk when I pull it out. It's just like folded up right now. Uh, and the one on the back is faced around and that bounces off my white wall here. So uh, when I'm using it at night, I don't want both of those blasting at me most of the time. I want enough light from the top one and the other one gives me like a backlight on the wall. So it's not just like harsh 
what light here and nothing anywhere else, which because that's kind of weird for the way we use vision. But this gives like a little bit of fill on the back and a nice fill on the front. It's very good and the light seems very nice. Uh, the controls are pretty minimal, but um, you do have like color temp lots of color temperatures and a bunch of different light settings and that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I am very happy with this for uh, for this cache. So that's what shows you the RA uh, 80 versus 95. You get like a way better color representation. And uh, that's kind of what I demand. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I, I think this is this is nice. Uh, I've been enjoying it. So check it, check it out if you're into a new lamp. Uh, next up, these are on a pretty good sale, 23% off right now. Uh, these are Zebra Click Art pens, and I use these a lot. I've got a bunch of them over here in one of my uh, one of my pen cases, and uh, they're just really useful things. Uh, in fact, actually, no, if they're not over there anymore, they're right here. Um, this is a zebra, it's a zebra pen stand. They have a bunch of these kinds of things. And as you can see, I like a lot of zebra stuff. In fact, a lot of this is zebra. Not all of it, but a lot. So these are the click arts, uh, and they are very nice markers. Great click. They also have a really good uh, range of colors. There are a ton more colors than this, actually. I think this is the same set I bought. Uh, I bought mine straight from Zebra though, and not through Amazon. But yeah, these are really good. Also, uh, the mild liners. I love a mild liner. And then these are the mild liner brushes, and these are all on um, all on sale right now. They're really darn good. So if you have any need for markers or things to make like a wider line, a more expressive line, lots of colors, uh, these are very good and clean, and uh, and I dig them. And that click really works. For whatever reason, they don't dry out. I I would think that they would dry out, but they don't, and I don't know how. It's kind of it's kind of magical. So check out Zebra Click Arts. I like those a lot. Next up, this is the G750, uh, also from Zebra. A lot of Zebra stuff on sale right at the moment on this uh, this Amazon thing. So uh, these are uh, part of their metal pin set, the G set. Ah, there it is. There's my 705. So there are uh, four of them in this series at least, and they're all various uh, various types. But the 450 and the 750, I think, are the nicest ones. They are uh, like have this really nice knurling. So like, why am I doing that? I can just show you on this picture here. It's very nice knurling here at the grip. Um, they have got a lot of weight to them. It's maybe a little bit too heavy. If you don't like a real heavy pen, check out the 450 version of this, which has a rubber grip. But uh, very nice ink, very good flow for a gel pen. Uh, and uh, it's just a, it's a really nice black metal pen. I think it's really high quality. And for eight bucks, that's pretty darn good. It doesn't say that this is down from another price, but I want to say these are usually quite a lot more than this, so that seems like a good price to me. Uh, next up, these are Zebra Sarasa Clips. I love the Sarasa. Uh, it's one of my favorite gel pens. I'm just kind of a big uh, Zebra gel pen fan, it turns out, and the Sarasa is a really great version of the Zebra gel pen. Uh, I use a lot of these colors, including uh, the brown is extremely nice, and they have like all these blues that are really good. The orange is fantastic. Great colors on these, and uh, for twenty three bucks, that's a dollar sixteen a pen. So that is uh, that. What is that? Um, half off, almost. Not quite half off. Forty percent, probably something. Like that. So yeah, check these out. I really like the Sarasa clip, and you can always take these and put them into another pen if you like. If you like a fancier body, like a, a tactile turn or something like that, it can take these. Uh, next up. Pin BBS ink is on Amazon sometimes, and this price is really good. 12 bucks for these colors uh, seems very good. I have not been the biggest fan of Pin BBS pens, but the Pin BBS ink has been very good, including their shimmers. Is this a shimmer? I think this might be a shimmer, and these shimmers are actually very nice. They're an extremely fine shimmer. You can find them from a bunch of different sources on here. This is just one that I found that had a bunch of different options. So yeah, very good, these, uh, these inks. I dig them. Next up, more post-its. I love post-its and these flags are the best flags. I haven't had a flag that's actually better than these. Um, you can write on them. I tend not to. I mean, you can write on them. I tend not to, but you can. Uh, I use the small ones just for like picking pages or even picking um, like passages out of a paper or something that I want to bring attention back to or if I want to help myself find things. And then the bigger ones I tend to use as page tabs uh, like they have here and not so much within the, the text itself, but uh, these are very good. And I really like that they're transparent on the end. I have a bunch that are like paper or they're like a solid color all the way through. And the problem with those is that when you put them in your, your notes or your book, Look, you're blocking a lot of stuff and so you can't see the stuff you're trying to read 
uh, and that you have to take them off and put it back on. Kind of, it's not great. But these very good. And uh, ten bucks for uh, eleven bucks for uh, all of these. What is that? 200, 120, uh, 320 of these old suckers. That's a really good price. All right, next up, uh, more post-its. These are the, uh, just like a sample set. I love these square ones. Uh, these are some of my favorite post-its. I use these all the time. In fact, I have a little block of them right here. Uh, and then I have another block of them, another couple of blocks of them. I always have post-its handy. I love a uh, post-it. These ones with the lines on them are also very good. Uh, the ones with the lines on them seem not to be quite as good for fountain pens, but I have found that these smaller ones and the regular size ones usually work really well for fountain pens for me. Uh, are the and these are super sticky, which is my favorite variety of post-it notes. I really like that a lot. So yeah, thirteen sixty for uh, all of these pads seems like a good price to me. Um, I have a whole drawer. I don't need more, but I will probably get some at some point. These are great. Next up, this seems kind of silly, perhaps, but Audrey found this a while ago, and uh, ours is black and it's not see-through. But same kind of thing. This continuous spray mist bottle is really. Uh, has come in like really useful. We weren't sure what we were going to do with it when we first got it. Uh, six ninety four seems like a really good price. I don't know what we paid for it, ours, but um, the weird thing about this is like this continuous spray thing works really well. I figured you have to pump it up or something, but it's just a lever deal. And when you pull it, pull it down, it gets this mist and it's very nice mist. Um, you can use it like after a workout to spray yourself in the face and be like, ah, cooling. Or um, Audrey uses it on the plants in our bathroom a lot. I have some plants in the bathroom. Uh, and it gives them like a nice mist on their leaves, which they really enjoy. And then they show uh, using it for like cleaning. So if you're a person that uses your own cleaning stuff, like maybe you mix up like a vinegar water thing for cleaning windows or whatever. Instead of getting that like really harsh like splat of uh, stuff on the window, this is a really great idea. And we should probably start doing that. I don't do hair. I don't know if that works or not, but it is very, uh, very easy to use. Oh, they say essential oils, alcohol. I don't know. That seems I don't know if I would do that, but you could. Yeah, for sure. So very useful. I like this one a lot. Oh, there's a bigger one, too. I don't know. This seems like plenty of stuff, usually. But it's very good. All right. Um, these are something that Audrey found and sent me a, a, a post for. Uh, 300 pieces of washi sticker book. These are like, they're, they're smaller than you might think. So is there a picture of one in the hand? Yeah. So here's a picture of one in the hand. They're pretty small. I really like these kind of like medium sized washi things because one thing you can do with them is use them, you know, in your planner or journal or whatever, but you can also like cut them into bits. And I think that's fun too. I like just having like, just like bits of a thing. And sometimes I'll separate them out and put them on a page, like sort of like an expanded, like blue out thing, which I think is really fun. Uh, and nine bucks for 300 washi stickers uh, on, in various different um, things. Seems like a really pretty solid deal. What's this one? 17. 12 sets that's a lot of them this is six sets yeah so a lot yeah a whole lot of stickers definitely check those out they could be cool i haven't got that one yet but it looks neat uh next up this is another thing i don't have but it's the kind of thing i really do like and that is this like they call it cottage core and i love the phrase cottage core it's just very fun to me and this is uh just a set of things for scrapbooking so one of the things i get from sticky club a lot that i really enjoy are uh these kinds of stickers right here which are just like a mushroom or a flower or a butterfly or something and they go in my commonplace book they go in my journals all that jazz and uh, they, uh, they just kind of like brighten up the page a little bit and make it interesting. And I think that's cool. All right, next up, uh, this is another pen thing. This is a really nice looking pencil case uh, that I am pretty tempted by. You notice I have, well, I said I have a lot of pens of this variety that I don't mind kind of knocking around uh, or things that are like highlighters and that sort of thing like I have over here in this case. Uh, and sometimes it's really good just like keep those in a place. I have this one that's like magneted to the side of my, my old, my old um, shelves over here. And it just has like some of the other highlighters that I like to use that didn't fit in this uh, container. And so sometimes having this kind of thing is really great. You can kind of take that with you, especially if you're a crafter or you're an urban sketcher or something like that. This might be a really good device for y'all and it expands as well. So if you have a bunch of things, you can expand it. If you don't, you can make it small, which is pretty cool. Little zippered bits for small things. Uh, this one for, you know, keeping some of the ones you want separate in these in the bottom area for just like throwing a bunch of stuff in. So that seems pretty good. And for $12, that's, um, seems like a solid deal for that kind of thing. All right, next up, uh, these absolutely are in my cart. These are Sakura Jelly Roll retractable gel pens. I didn't even know this was a thing. In fact, Audrey sent me a text. She's like, hey, there's retractable jelly rolls. I'm like, no, that's not a thing. And she's like, yeah, here it is. Here's a link. Um, 14 bucks for this set of 10 is real good. $1.41 a piece, it says. Uh, that's pretty darn good. I have not used a retractable jelly roll, but I love jelly rolls. 
And the one thing that I would give as a knock against them. I'm around here. Where are my jelly rolls? Oh, they're they're just out of reach. Um, is that you have to take the cap off, and they tend to un they tend to like dry out a little bit if you leave them uncapped. These must have something slightly different going on because they are uh, click pens, and so they must be pretty good. Um, the thing about jelly rolls that is super great is that they give you a very vibrant, like thick gel line. Uh, these are 0.8s, which is kind of their medium size. It's fairly thick and wide for a, for a jelly roll or for a gel pen. Uh, but this is just like, it's bright color. You can actually see the layer of gel on the page before it dries. Like it's, it's pretty banging. And the sparkle ones, tons of shimmer in those things. They are really nice to use. So yeah, this is going to my cart. I'll have to, I'll have to try these out. Oh, there's also opaques. What else do they have here? Uh, yeah, so these are meant for writing on like dark papers. You got like white and gold and silver and they write pretty well, but you have to have dark paper for them. The other one, classics. Ah, yeah, this is um, this is like your office standard stuff. Uh, I'm getting the sparkle set because that's the kind of person I am. I'm a sparkly dude. All right, next up. Uh, this is also in my cart. Um, this is... I am not very organized. If y'all could see the chaos around me, you'd be like, yeah, no, you are not organized at all. And that is true, but I'd like, I have aspirations of being organized. And so this is, uh, this is an organizer for all kinds of pens and pencils and stuff. I would not have just sharpened pencils sticking out at me. Maybe I probably also wouldn't want them point down. I don't know, but like, I can just see myself cramming this full of, uh, like highlighters and, uh, Bix and like whatever else, just cram them in there. And then just say like some little things and odds and ends down here in this, this drawer. It's always good to have a drawer. How big is this thing? Yeah, fairly small ish, but big enough for, uh, you know, this stuff here. Here we go. Here's the sizes 10 inches tall, eight and a half inches wide. This actually would go well in one of my Ikea shelves, I think, over here. Those are like 14 by 14, if I can remember right. So I think that would fit really well. Uh, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I have to try to check this out. There are a bunch of different colors and stuff. Like this cherry one is the one that like originally caught my eye. Uh, but that's 13 bucks and I, I think cherry is perfectly fine. It looks nice, but I'm, uh, I like bamboo. It does cost a little bit more, but bamboo is a grass and it's like a very eco-friendly sort of material. It's extremely renewable, uh, very sturdy, got all these like great qualities. So I like bamboo. I'll pay a few bucks more for a bamboo one. That's just kind of my jam. All right. Uh, we are almost through my list of clicky things here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Apple stuff is on sale, it seems. They've got a whole bunch of these up here. These are AirPods Pros, and I use AirPods Pros. In fact, mine are right here. I use these all the time. These are such good uh, little earbuds. The I love the transparency feature. I don't know how I ever lived without a transparency feature and earbuds. It is so nice to be able to hear the stuff around you and also the stuff in your ears, uh, but also the isolation bit is really nice. It's got great noise canceling. You know about these things, but I use these when I mow the lawn. I just turn on the noise canceling and it cuts out all the roar of the, the engine in front of me. And that is great. Um, but yeah, this could, this is the USB-C version and these are on sale 24% off. 189 instead of 250 is real good. Uh, and this is the second gen, minor, minor first gen. Like this is the first first version of those. So up to two times more active noise canceling. Interesting. I don't know if I need another one yet. These are still kicking. I've had these for years, and the uh, the quality is still great, and also the battery life is still great. So not ready to replace them yet, but this is a good deal. So check those out. Uh, and lastly, I might have had these on my last list. I I need to get some of these at one of these one of these days, but. These are the Sony WH-1000 XM4s. These are uh, top-notch noise canceling. When I talk to my uh, my headphone buddies, they're like, yeah, no, these are still the GOAT. Um, there is a newer version of this that is like $400, but um, these are still apparently very, very good. The other ones are marginally better. There are also, of course, some Bose ones, which are excellent, and some others, uh, but these are the ones that like have that combination of looking sleek, sounding amazing. I put these on at a store the other day, just to kind of like be like, oh yeah, do I still like these? I don't know. I put them on and immediately si immediate silence. It was kind of glorious. So 250 is uh, is is pricey, but these are pretty great. They do work with uh, Apple stuff, even though it uh, says a lot of stuff about like Alexa chat and all that sort of thing. But um, yeah, it seems like it, these are very good. So one of these days I'm gonna get some. Just I haven't yet. I right, said so a whole lot of things and I've got to get busy and put all these links in a deal and like get this video going because I want this to be available while these deals are still on. And I think these big deal days are just like today and tomorrow, which is the 10th and 11th of October. Uh, and uh, so I want to get this up so you can see it. So, um, hey, did you find something here that you like? Did you get a good deal from the... 
uh, the the corporate overlords here uh, that uh, you would like to pass on to me, throw it in the, the comments below. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you picked up or what you think is interesting. Or if you hate these videos, that's also totally fine. Let me know down below. If you like them, that's even better. Let me know about that. But, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, remember, those are all affiliate links down there. So they do help me out and throw a little cash, little, little pennies from uh, Jeffy B's pocket into your favorite uh, YouTubers. That's me. And, uh, you know, there you go. Until next time, peace out.